Hey guys, got uh, what I think is a pretty special unboxing, something I've been thinking about pulling the trigger on for a while. Uh, favorite TV show of mine, and just finally uh, got up whatever it takes to pull the trigger on something that costs a few bucks. So I'm happy that I can unbox this. Uh, I have already taken the plastic off it, and I'm going to go ahead and take open the, well, obviously I'll leave it like this for a second, show you where it is first. And we're talking about this is the Wonder Years. This is a complete series. It's big. Uh, on DVD. Sorry about the glare there. Um, it's a big set. And uh, I want to be able to unbox this thing. So bear with me. I know it's a lot smaller when it gets out of the box. The box got a lot of padding in it. But uh, I got a spot on the shelf for it. And let's take a look and see what's inside of this thing. Okay. So uh, without further ado, let me start opening this up. Okay, the first thing you see is it's packaged in here really nicely. It's uh, it's a locker, but down in here is it's got this uh, I don't know, almost like a styrofoam, but it's it's squishier and it gives more than styrofoam does. Um, that looks cool. So far, so good. So that piece comes off like this. I'm going to save that in case I need to transport this or something. All right, now the locker itself. I'm going to put this on the floor to get this out of here, I think. Okay. Tricky, tricky, but I think I can do this. All right. Now, to get the locker out, here's the box. The box is kind of neat, actually. Uh, it's got the Wonder Years here on it. It says about uh, 115 episodes on 26 DVDs. is the front of it. It's meant to look like stickers all over it, so that's why some of them are crooked and so on. And actually, you co this comes with stickers. Here's the back. Time Life does a nice job. The other series I have by them is um, China Beach, which I think they did an excellent job with. Both of these series had a lot of music in them, and so uh, it was difficult to get the licensing rights. And I'm glad they went for the music. I've heard that the DVD quality on this, at least on the first season, is going to be, you know, not all that much better than uh, VHS or, uh, you know, uh, not not a great DVD. But overall, it's gotten good ratings. I have not seen it yet. Obviously, it's still in the still in plastic. This is in plastic here. I haven't opened this yet. I'm going to open that now and uh, take a look at it. Okay. It looks to me, in, it looks to me in perfect shape from what I can tell. Um, I'm just gonna be careful taking the plastic off though, just just in case. It's one of those sets that you know you want to be careful with. It costs a few bucks. The list price on this was three hundred. I think it might be out of print. I'm not positive, but I see on Amazon they're want, they're asking three something for this now. They did come out with a a set that's supposed to be a, a space saver on your shelf, which is not the locker. And and misses the I don't think it has the yearbook in it. It doesn't definitely doesn't have the stickers in it that come with this. So here's the locker. You can actually put a lock or something on this too, I suppose, a tie-dye thing. Um, looks really nice. There's no dents or anything in it. It's got four legs on it. I was told the legs weren't the strongest things, but they look pretty good to me. And there's a little uh, piece of uh, black stuff on the bottom here on each of the legs to protect it from scratching your table or whatever. And it turns nicely. Let's see here. You really can't see this, can you? Let's see if I can lift it up here a little bit like this. So here's the inside. You'll see what I see. The locker door opens up. And you've got, first of all, some padding in here, which I appreciate. Then you've got a yearbook. It's like some stickers right here. And here's the stickers. They come, these are all magnetic. But I have my own stickers I'm going to put on here because I have some Shout Factory stickers from, um, or Shock Factory, I should say, from Shocktober. So I think I'm going to put some of those on here on the inside and the outside and so on. I might put an I Love Winnie Cooper on the inside, possibly. I don't know. Winnie Cooper was pretty cool. Uh, but you can see the peace sign and the flower and holy cow and a couple other things. I may put some of those on the locker, too. So um, that's that. This, I think this is not a sticker. I mean, this is a... 
This is this is actually part of the locker. It's not any. It's not a sticker. It's just actually part of the locker. I'm not sure what that is. It doesn't come off, which is nice. Um, then you've got a yearbook. Let me set this down for a minute. It's a very nice set, though. You know, some things are really quality. This this metal locker is is solid. I mean, it is metal, and it looks like a locker. This is the yearbook, 1988 to 19. 93, which is when the series was on. Uh, amazing cast here, really. I mean, um, the character, Kevin Arnold, uh, was a was a really iconic character, I felt. He, uh, and, uh, yeah, Fred Savage. I had a brain fart there. Fred, Fred Savage, I had to look it up for a minute. Fred Savage, who played Kevin Arnold, did a remarkable job. I mean, uh, because the if you had to remember the show, it had a lot of narration in it. So you'd be giving a line, and, and, and while you gave the line, he'd have to sit there, and the narration would have to take place uh, by Daniel Stern, by the way. Uh, Daniel Stern of, uh, well, he's been in a bunch of stuff, but pro probably uh, most known for Home Alone, where he played Joe Pesci's taller, thinner sidekick, but he's been in a ton of stuff. You know Daniel Stern probably. Uh, but he's the narrator in this, and while Daniel Stewart is narrating, Kevin Arnold has to kind of do a, you know, one of these, and oh, you know, but it's subtle. I mean, you can't overact this thing. He's thinking to himself um, while the narration is saying, "Yeah, I thought to myself this and that. You know, was Winnie really going to go out with this other guy? And you know, what if she did? And you know, and he's got these looks on his face, uh, amazing for a." For a young child, that he had that kind of timing and uh, and so on, really played the, the comedic moments well, the dramatic moments well. I mean, you were sad with him, you laughed with him. Uh, I love the show. Like I said, it's one of my favorite television shows. So in this, yeah, you've got uh, yeah, you've got some signatures here, and. Each of this is like a real yearbook. I don't know how many pages it is. It's it's hardcover, so you've got uh, now. Hopefully they okay. Here's a. Uh, I trust that wonder will never disappear from our planet. I hope we helped it stay alive in young people's hearts. Love, Ellie Mills. She played Norma. Um, that was the mom. So each everybody signed it. David Stern signed it. Uh, Daniel Stern signed it. David Stern was a writer, a producer, I think. Yeah. Yeah, these are. This is fun. Uh, there's there's a lot to see here. Um, anyway, as you go through, then you've got the contents. And here's the actual Kennedy Wildcats. That was the uh, that was the school they went to. It was a middle school. I think he was a sixth. I think he started out as a sixth grader. Um, it was a junior high school. Then, of course, they went to McKinley High School eventually uh, for the last couple seasons. Uh, here's the cast here the Arnold family Karen, Norma, Kevin, Wayne, and Jack. And, uh, yeah. There, there they are at their, at their kitchen table. I have such fond memories of this show when it aired. Uh, I don't think I ever missed one. I, I watched it every week. Every week I was moved by it, touched by it, laughed. Uh, you know, felt like crying, felt the lump in my throat sometimes for Kevin. And and remember, you know, remembering what it was like to go high school, to go through high school. This high school, this, this takes place in the 60s uh, when he was in middle school and then high school. So, um, yeah. A lot of memories here, a lot of behind the scene pictures. And uh, each one is labeled. It's 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 just like a it's just like a yearbook would be. It's really nice. So you see them growing up from year to year, and um, yeah, each character kind of gets their own couple pages of pictures and stuff. Really nice, really nice. And in the back, um, you've got some advertisements uh, like Peterman's Peterman's Auto Land, Mosey on down the best price and service in town. These were some of the, the stores and shops and things that were on the show. So really cool, really nice uh, yearbook. Not exceptionally thick, but, ex but, but very well done.
Okay, next. I will open up uh, one of the two sets, I guess, here. I'll do seasons one, two, and three. They come in this kind of a digi book type of format. And this actually looks like... I just watched an episode the other day on Netflix. This is the kind of notebook that Kevin Arnold had uh, in school. That's what he carried around. So how appropriate is that? With the flag on it. All right, let me see if I'm going to open this thing. Not easily, probably, but I'll get it open. There we go. Just over really down the box for now. Uh, this is very well done. Uh, the disc, I mentioned that it has uh, 26 discs, 151 episodes. I think there's four discs that are extras. Uh, as in extra special features and so on. Um, yeah, this is this is neat. i got to be careful taking these discs out, but I've got a number of, of seasons like that. Um, they're not hard to take out once you have kind of figure out the, tr the trick to them. And they usually have a trick. Let's see if this one has the same kind of trick that the Superman one does. Small, though, I should say. Yeah, there's ways to get these out safely without, because um, the, the, the cardboard on these give a little bit so you can actually get your get your hand in here nicely to get them out. And if you take a cloth and grab onto it and kind of pull the cardboard with one hand and then ease it out, it, it can come out. Um, each one of these has these, uh, what do they call these things? Ah, composition notebooks maybe, I think they were called, these black and white deals. We all had them in school. They still sell them, I think. These actually slide out from this. So you just take the last page and, and it fits in there, but you take it out. And this is the list of, this is seasons one, two, and three. This is a synopsis of all the episodes, along with some other stuff. So here you've got season one. You get an intro here by Fred Savage. Then you've got the pilot episode here. It talks about the pilot. Uh, but then you've got, like, here's the creators, and they say, We started talking about the idea of doing a first-person narrated perspective of a young boy. We were determined to do a movie. But the more we talked about it, the more it became apparent that it, it, it fit itself very well into a television series. So we outlined it, wrote it, all within about two weeks, and it fell right into place. It was one of the very few projects we've done that flowed very easily. And that's from creators Neil Martins and Carol Black. Um... Uh, what are the, uh, yeah, featured songs on this one uh, with a little help from my friends. This is the pilot episode. Turn, turn, turn to everything. There's a season by the birds and when a man loves a woman by Percy Sledge. This was known for having really cool music from the '60s and, and then '70s. So as you go through, you and it tells you what what songs are featured in all these. Um, some of them have more than others. This one had to ABC by the Jackson 5 and 1 by 3 Dog Night. It's called Math Class. So, I can only imagine. Uh, the air dates on this is are from 1988 through 1993. Um, I remember all these. And I will have much fun going back through them and, and reminiscing about them and, and so on. But I'm, I'm just flipping through here and I'm seeing, I'm seeing different pictures and not only do they have the uh, kind of synopsis of the plot, but then they have like reminiscences, reminiscences, reminiscences. I can't even say that word. Um, you want to reminisce? Reminiscences. There you go. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of comment on this. Uh, the school production of Our Town has trouble when Winnie gets stage fright. Featured song, there's no business like show business. Uh... And there's some comments here about Thornton Wilder's Our Town and so on. It's really well done. I mean, they, hard to say they could have done any better. And the extras on this are amazing as well, from what I understand. I, I did my research on it. There's tons to see. And this, doesn't have, this even has the uh, this even has a place for your name and address down here. Of course, the book slides in behind this. This, this kind of has a nice flap on it. And then this last page of the book just kind of goes in here like... So get it lined up. Come on, baby. Oh, just like that. And that just slides it behind there. Uh, come on. There we go. Yeah, it actually fits very nicely. And then it's back in there. So we can keep it all together. So I'm really thrilled with it. Um, 
it's it's very very nice. And I know the last four discs are filled with extras. What are the extras? Well, they have a reunion from um, 2013, probably, uh, of all the cast members, the Arnold family, along with uh, Josh Savino, who played uh, who played Kevin's friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to remember all the names, right? Uh, that was Paul Pfeiffer. Why don't I write? You know, how can I not remember these names? Uh, of course, Winnie Cooper was played by Danica McKellar. Uh, yeah, really great stuff. Uh, Dan Loria played the father. Olivia Dabo uh, played uh, his older sister, Karen. Jason Hervey played his brother, Wayne. I mentioned Ellie Mills already, the mom. Uh, Dan Loria was the dad. He was great as the dad. That's pretty much the cast, but they had a lot of extra of other people on the show um, that were, um, and I can't remember all of them, but there were lots, quite a few guest stars that were that were in this that were played kids and that went on later on to become whatever they became, movie stars, directors, uh, actors, actresses, types of things. Let's see here, what else do I have in this little goodie bag here? Uh, here's the, uh, I'm going to keep these for now just to kind of provide a little cushion here, why not? And then the other... Part two of this. Oh, yeah. Part two. And there's a little piece of cardboard here to protect. Also, I like that too. I don't know where it was from, but I like it. I'm not sure where this piece came from. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure where that other piece of cardboard was or came from, but it kind of flopped down to the bottom. Maybe it was already in the bottom. And I'm just realizing that. I'm going to probably leave it in the bottom because it looks like that's where it goes. Provides a little bit of padding here in the bottom, perhaps. I'm not sure of that, though. So I'm going to have to check that out. There's really nothing else that comes with the set, so I can't imagine what else that could be, but let's see here. I think it just goes with that. It seems like it's just wedged in there. There's nothing else to take it out of there, so we're just going to leave it in place in part of the bottom there. It's probably meant so that this, yeah, that's probably what it's meant so the books don't get hung up on the on the edges here of the shelf. Let me see here. This one was on the side here, I think. Here we go. Yeah, I see what it does. It keeps the it keeps the doors and stuff from hitting the when the doors hit, it doesn't shut it doesn't shut on the uh, cases here. All right, so let's open up this other one as long as I'm on a roll. I don't know if I'm on a roll or not, but as long as I think I'm on a roll, let's open up the other one take a look at it. It's got the flower power on this one. Run back. Very uh, 60, 70-ish. These look like actual notebooks that you might have carried around in the 60s or 70s, I suppose. In middle school. Maybe not in high school, but in middle school you might have. Actually, in high school, too. I remember having uh, stickers on my notebooks when I was a kid, like... Like STP and Pennzoil, it was like oil companies and gas companies were big, mainly oil companies. It was like a big deal to collect the stickers, and you didn't really, you only wanted to stick a few because mainly wanted to collect them and trade them. That was a, that was a thing for a little while. Uh, okay, so this is seasons four, five, and six, and then like I said, there's there's bonus discs here in the back. Let's see, I believe there's four of them. Bonus disc. Here's bonus disc two. Uh, have a neat summer of the Wonder Years cast reunion. Uh, feature at my generation, the kids grow up. Interviews with many of the stars. Bonus disc three. Bonus disc four. Where's bonus disc one? Don't know where that is. I'm sure, I'll come across it. Might have been in the other one. Yeah, let me get. Let me guess that bonus disc one is in this set. Well, let me take a peek and see. Yes, it is. Bonus disc one here in the back. Um, 16 years later, the Wonder Years cast reunion, May 28th, 2014, in Los Angeles, California. Pilot episode outtakes, the first kiss with commentary by Danica McKellar and Fred Savage. Not only was it, was the, it was Winnie Cooper's and Kevin Arnold's first kiss, and one of the few kisses they had, by the way, um, it was on the pilot episode, and it was the first kiss for both the actresses, the actor, actress, and for the characters. So it was a monumental in all their lives, and they still have memories of it, and to have their first kiss on television made it memorable, I suppose. Um, featurette, When a Man Loves a Woman, Kevin and Winnie Forever, 
and then interviews with the creators, Dan Loria, uh, Jack Arnold, and Ellie Mills, Norma Arnold. Uh, that's on the first bonus disc. So there, I think I read that there's 24 hours worth of bonus materials on here and that you could watch this every night for like a year, I guess, an hour a night or something. And uh, you could go, you'd go through the seasons and, um, and all the bonus materials. So like I said, I loved it. Um, still love it. And I'm uh, really happy. Lisa Berlini. Lisa Arnold. Ooh, see, he was pretty serious. Miss Whitey had a crush on the teacher. Got all sorts of stuff written in here, little cartoon things that are drawn, and in addition to the titles of the episodes. Really, really well done. Uh, maybe the best uh, set I've seen as far as materials. And this locker is exceptional. I mean, it doesn't lock like an actual locker. However... It does, uh, yeah, it does have all the makings of a locker. It's metal. It latches. You can uh, apparently put another latch or something on this from the look of it. I think I'm going to take these magnets off for now and keep them in here just until I figure out what I'm going to do with them. And it shuts, shuts up nicely. I would, I think you could take a little, um, a little, uh, like a bread tie or something on this because what it has is if you see I don't know if you can make out of this it has a little hole here and then you've got the locker itself but you could put a little something on there to hold it shut if you wanted to or even like a you could even just use a toothpick or something I imagine anything anything would fit through that little hole ah, I'm not going there if you had something small and tiny you could fit it in that hole anyway um that's terrible I don't usually do that uh, I, I could blame a number of influences here, but I'm not going to. Um, nor am I going to do any shout-outs after I just said that, because everyone will think those are the ones I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, Wonder Years, really, really recommend it. You've got the beautiful locker. This will fit on the shelf nicely. It's not all that tall. The box is huge, but this is not all that tall. Not much taller than these, than these notebooks that you get here, as you can see. That cardboard just keeps them right above the lip, as you, you see that. That's where the cardboard was in there, and also keeps it from keeps it from going too far over here too, which is nice. Yeah, you've got the uh, the notebook. I'm gonna put these little green bags back in here for now, and why not? They fit. fit. I'll probably take this out for a moment. Put the green bags back in here. Oh, it fits in there pretty snug. She said. I like that I get that in there. Hmm. Okay. Let's try this like this, because it was in there. Honestly, it was. I'm put it like that. I'll be watching some of this tonight. I think I have. I'm not really falling too far behind on the Halloween uh, 31 days or 31 nights of, of horror. I've been watching something horror every night. It just depends on what your definition of horror is. But I've watched a lot of Outer Limits. Um, and a couple comedic things as well I've been watching that, uh, that's perfect. I've been watching some comedic things too. I'm really happy to add this to the collection. I, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really thrilled. And I got a perfect place for it on the shelf that I cleared. I'm going to guess it's going to fit up there perfectly uh, somewhere. Uh, I'm done with this. I can raise this up again, I think. Whoa, there we go. Come on, come on. Ah, now we're talking. Somewhere up there, alongside my, see where that Batman is? Right there it's going to go. Right in there it's going to fit very nicely. I may, even, I may even put Batman over there and put this in here. I'm not sure yet. <clears throat> we'll just see how well it fits. I think it's got plenty of room, though. Uh, really happy with it, guys. It's the Wonder Years Complete Series on DVD. 26 DVDs, 150 epi 115 episodes, and four bonus discs. Along with stickers, a nice metal locker, <coughs> uh, two um, series guides that have uh, artwork and scenes from the various uh, episodes, as well as a synopsis and some thoughts on each episode, uh, two different books, and then a beautiful red uh, hardbound yearbook that has pictures from the show, reminisces, <laughs> memories that uh, each character, I'll have to work on that word, reminiscences, reminiscences. Not the easiest word for me to say for some reason. I can spell it, though. Anyway, 
that's it guys hope you enjoyed it this is going to get a place of honor on the shelf and i um, looking forward to watching and revisiting what was for me a favorite television show of the uh, late 80s early 90s the wonder years that's it guys that's it that's the locker that's the set that's the photo right there maybe we do the uh if i'm gonna do one there it is anyway I'm uh, looking forward to checking this out, guys, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I would recommend this. Oh, what did I pay for it? Well, that's a good question. Thanks for asking. Um, well, it, it's selling for $366 on Amazon. Um, the retail price on it, I think, was $299 when it came out from Time Life. You, now, you can get the, the other version is $199, I see, the retail. You can get that for less than that. You can get that for about $150, I think, different places. But uh, I did pay over 100 for it, but not by much. I paid $125 for this, new, brand new, as you saw. So I'm real happy with that. Uh, this is very collectible. I will keep this very nice. I'm really just thrilled to be able to put some magnets on the outside of my locker, too. So I'll be spiffing up my locker with uh, various magnets that I've got sitting around. Uh, inside and outside, I'll spiff it up. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, guys, that is it. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like, hit the like button if you liked it. Um, subscribe if you want to see more stuff and hear more stuff. Uh, my style's sort of laid back, I guess, for the most part. I try to do a relatively professional job, but I'm pretty laid back. So if you like that kind of style, uh, I'm not going to go too wild or do too many outlandish things. Though I won't say I won't do anything outlandish ever. For the most part, pretty low-key. Um, and uh, what is the other one? Like, oh, comment. Thank you. Thanks for reminding me. Like, subscribe, and comment, uh, as you will. But uh, I'm really liking this set. Uh, if you guys thought about it or you don't like the series or did you like it but think it was too much money, I got it for FYE, by the way. I think that's what they're selling them for. It was $139, but I'm a member, so I got I got $15 off, um, $14 off, uh, and I brought it down to $125. So I was pretty happy with that. Had I been able to wait till my birthday, I would have got another 10% off, but yeah, it wasn't going to happen. Birthday's not till April, and I'm not waiting that long to get it. It might be gone by then. I think that's, I think they're out of print. Even the FYA lady said, I think that's out of print. I said, yeah, you're probably right. Um, she said, well, we had some other people asking about that. I said, yeah, you sold me, because they only had one. And my guess is they're not going to get any more in. Um, all right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. I know I will. And uh, take care. And we'll see you again.